Hey guys and welcome back to another round of Let's Make Hybrids, a series dedicated to various artworks and small creations created by the community based on animal hybrid prompts. We have a lot to go over today. It's probably going to be in two parts. I'm going to try my best. I want to give everyone, you know, a bit of time each, but at the same time, there's a lot of people to give. Again, guys, thank you all so, so much for participating. I'm really, really am glad that you're all enjoying it. And again, just thank you. So, this week we went with a Komodo Dragon and Orcuella Hybrid. It was really, really cool, really well received. Actually kind of Mosasaur-like, which was uh, not intended, but really, really nice. And it's been very cool to see all the different variety of interpretations. For my one, I actually did mine in both Spore and ZBrush, and I'll be going over that in a lot more detail in a very, very soon upcoming video. This is something that I believe a lot of you guys can do as well, if you want to, not for the hybrid prompts, but just in general. The act of going from Spore to another 3D piece of software is really, really good, and I really would recommend it. But as you can see for my one, I had like a bit of a Mosasaur-ish kind of idea, not really intended per se. In fact, if anything, my idea was more inspired by Skullcrawler as I really wanted to nail down, you know, that middle ground in between of both Komodo Dragon and Orca Whale. So, you know, one set of limb, reptilian face, but a very Orca Whale heavy palette. I really like how mine came out, but not quite as much as I'm excited to see what you all have prepared. So our very first completed submission was by Mihal, with what looks to be a terrestrial hybrid, one I can imagine of course swimming around as well. So what Mihal has done here is gone for a Komodo heavy creature with a lot of Orca Whale features. I really like the in-betweeners here. It really reminds me of like a terrestrial Mosasaur and that would be terrifying to see, that'd be really really cool. Next up we have a Spore creation by Espy, another more terrestrial one. I quite like the hooves in the back feet there, I'm not sure where the hooves necessarily come from, but that's quite an interesting design. And I also really like the plates coming up from the elbows and from the shins. And of course a classic Orca Whale colour scheme. Our third submission was by Clover Sage. I'm not sure whether or not it's intended, but I must say I really actually like the way that they've done the colours. While the colours look like a bit of a graphite or like just a very, you know, rough all over black, the fact that the colour is very texturized really gives the sketch like a lot more life. It looks like there's a lot of bumps and scratches and just various surfacing on the creature's body with what would otherwise, you know, normally be just like a black colour. I really like just how the sketch shading comes out in it. I also love the happy face and the big opposing front arms. Fourth up is Dino Chris, who had two submissions here. I believe this one here may be the cancelled one, but I did really like it and I didn't really want to, you know, just let it go. I know that for this one they had some Devil Joe vibes from it, which is really, really cool. And I also just love how long and Salamander-like the body is. And then here we have Dino's final submission, which you can see had quite a few features, but looks overall a lot more polished. Again, I just love how heavy and Salamander-like it looks. It just gives it so much weight, so much life. I'm not always a big fan of the whole tail dragging thing, but this really sells it so well. It just looks like a big scary creature and I love it. I also love the action pose in the top one there as well, chasing after a little shark. Our fifth submission was by Dragon Hoffella, and I love the style in this. I just love like the overall illustration for, the, for this one. I also really like just how large the hands themselves are, not just the claws, but the hand. They look like very wide, but very opposing, kind of like paddleish features. I love the patterns like throughout the body, the strap on the back, all the little spots. It's a really, really cool style. And Dragon Hoffella did the two different versions here. We've got another one just posed up, sitting on the ground. It, honestly, this one here just looks adorable. The first one looks like a little bit uh, menacing, but the second one just looks so cuddly and it's really, really cool. It really shows off those patterns really nicely. I really like that. Next up, we have Snakey Wakey with our Kamorka with this really, like, almost comic strip kind of appearance. Like, I don't know what style you would call, like, this overall layout. It's like a bit of a comic slash dossier, I'm not sure, but I love just, like, the overall composition, the way it's displayed. I also really like the art style. I find that crosshatch shading is very hit or miss, and I feel like Snakey here really hit it. The crosshatch shading just looks really good. I also love the illustration of the teeth. And the blowhole as well, which is a really neat idea. In fact, that's a second image, the upper right hand one. That's just such a cool illustration of the creature in movement. And of course, we have the zoom up to version here of the little sleeping one. I love that one so much. Really nice art style. Next up is Matus Meteor. This one's got a really cool kind of aberrant look to it, actually. I love all the glowing specks around the eyes and the face, the fin, the tail, and the arms and legs. Like, it really gives me an aberrant vibe from Ark, and it looks so, so cool. Not to mention the overall, you know, design of the creature itself. This one went very Orca Whale heavy, which is, of course, cool to see. But you can see, like, a bit of Komodo in around the back of the neck, the eyes, and, of course, the hands and legs. Really nicely done. Next up is a Komodo Kajira by Janan, a creation made in Spore. I really like the posture on this one. 
This is a far more unique looking posture compared to a lot of the ones we've seen so far. I have also seen a fair few like either skull crawler or mermaid kind of kind of ones where their arms at the front. It's interesting to see this one reverse and the arms or the legs sorry are at the back. And I've also provided this really cool rendered shot of a Komodo Kajira, you know, attacking a city. And it really goes to show like the overall perspective. I've seen that Janan is playing a lot of Blender at the moment, rendering sport creations in Blender. And images like this really give it so much more life. Next up is Fox Moving with a really cool reptilian interpretation here. I love the hands and legs. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, <laughs> but I really like seeing everyone's different interpretations. And with Fox Movement's one here, it's really cool, like seeing like a bit of a webbing. It kind of looks like al it's almost wing like, like vestigial wings, but repurposed for swimming. And it looks fantastic. I also love the detail around the face and the definition around the eyes, and the lips, and of course the chest area as well, actually. Oh, and it's got two little friends around the neck. <laughs> That's really cool. And Fox Within has also provided this beautiful sketch. It's good to have like a nice little joke one every now and then, and this one is <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Following that is a sport creation by Capra Sutures 93. First things first, I love the blue in this. The blue is such an unexpected addition and it just really makes it pop out and look a lot unique. Close inspection, I really like the crest around the head. The feathers, I'm not sure if maybe they're meant to be feathers or repurposed as something else, but again, it's a really nice and interesting detail there. Not something I'd expect to see at all. Also, the no downs around the arms as well, like another interesting feature. I thought with this one, I'm kind of looking more at it, looking at different features, wondering, oh, how would that be used? Where did that come from? I find this one to be very thought provoking. I really like it a lot. This one here is by Dread Drago. I'm not sure if this was meant to be a submission. I think this actually may have just been some uh, like references or you know like a bit of uh, building up and to help other people as well, which was really cool of Dread. So some anatomy designs, but I did just kind of want to sneak it in because these little anatomy designs here, they just look fantastic. I mean, look at that, man. They look brilliant. And uh, Drago, I hope you don't mind me sharing it, <laughs> but I thought it looked really, really well done. The faces are just incredible. Next up we have Annie with this really adorable kind of sprite looking one. I'm not sure if it's like a sprite or like a Fakemon kind of thing. I remember seeing Annie begin on this one, but I can't remember seeing the process. So it's really cool to see this here just looking very polished and vinyl. It may be a small piece, it doesn't matter. You can still appreciate, you know, what she's gone into this and just how clean the overall end product looks. I love its big happy face. I can just imagine it's just like screaming, Mab. I don't know why, that's just what I get looking at this. I love it. Next up is Savannah Dragon 0221 with this beautiful and elegant looking digital piece. This has got like a very serpentine kind of feature to it. It certainly feels more in the Orca Whale kind of theme. I love how gentle the head looks and I really love the shading. The shading and the lighting really sells this one. And I also like the style of the hands and legs. I like this one and my first interpretation of it is graceful. Following Graceful is Fearsome. This one is by Orloki. I love the posture on this one. I love the shading, the colors. I love the way it holds itself. The musculature as well is wicked. And I now realize I may have gotten some uh, unintentional inspiration from Loki. I had no idea why apparently I've done the same thing as she's done. I had no idea, but it looks fantastic though. I really love how this one came out. It's just got such an epic pose, epic colors, really epic shading. I love Loki shading by far. Especially around the hands there, around the torso, the neck. Mate, really, really well done. Next up is the Great Laggy with something that actually kind of reminds me of Laggy Aguros. But really, really cool though. Again, I just love the markings on this one. I find myself really liking artwork to have a fairly kind of simple approach in terms of the colouring and the shading, etc. But I love the ones like this one where the shading is kind of met in a form of cell shading and markings like this one. I love the overall build. I absolutely adore the way the hands and feet are done. If you look at the hands, they really do look like uh, raptor wings in the sense that you can see the claws kind of coming out, but the flippers kind of carry on going past and over like a feather would. It's kind of hard to describe, but just look at the front two arms there, especially the one in the distance. That kind of idea is really creative and I really, really like it. I also, again, just really, really like the illustration style here. And the information on the back there, I recommend pausing and reading that, it's really cool. Next up is Calibre Light, with a very fearsome looking predator here. Once again, loving the markings, really like the very long serpentine tail. I also really like the detail around the head and the way that it's drinking out in the wild. Gives it a bit more life. Next up is Walk and Snack, with a rather cute interpretation of a spore creation. It's got a big muscular arms, a piercing orange eyes, but overall just has like a bit of a cute vibe to me. They've also provided a swimming variant as well, which is certainly handy for, you know, any aquatic sage shenanigans. I really like the simplicity of this one. Next up is JFCF with this really cool arctic scene here. 
You can see the Komodo Orca going after a Silver. In addition to a full look of the creature in the bottom right hand corner, I really like the design. I find it interesting how the design has both flippers and arms and legs in this one. I think for a lot of us, we've all kept to like either, you know, two or four limbs in total, whether it be fins or arms and legs. It's cool to see this one kind of given, in a way, extra limbs. I can imagine it being terrifying seeing that in the ocean with that many extra appendages to really help it power through the water and swim faster. I also really like the technique of the water froth breaking the surface there. Next up is Poophead27 with this adorable looking interpretation. Uh, the, the face it just looks so gentle, I really really love it and also I just love the little tongue coming out as well. Also the arms, the front arms there just look like they'd be big powerful flappers in the water. And I quite like the pose overall. Next up is Zig Dragon with another just fantastically characteristic appearance here. I said it before, I'll say it again. Zik has a really cool kind of like Disney-ish design. It's very hard to describe, you just see it in the face there. It's just, there's just something very characteristic about it and I love it. I also really like the posture it is in, with the tail kind of flexing below and the head looking the opposite way. It kind of looks like it's just chilling, it's just relaxing, having a conversation with the viewer, and the bubbles coming out is a really nice touch. Remember kids, always check the spell instructions. This could be you if you don't. <laughs> By Matononin. <laughs> so I guess this is um, maybe like a D&D &D character gone wrong, I think. I know they play a lot of D&D &D in the server. <laughs> so I can only imagine that's what this is. I like it though. I also like how this one's like not really got a dark colour scheme like a lot of the other ones so far. As I said, it is cool to see people's individual interpretations. And Myrtle here's gone with a much lighter, kind of shark colour scheme actually. Probably more Komodo Dragon, but I can see it like as a, a legged shark, and that honestly sounds terrifying. I love the expression. It just says, oh god, I screwed up the spell. <laughs> it's brilliant. Next up is the plant guy with another spore creation. Really love all the features going on there. It's kind of like got a bit of a sail type of thing going on. Not quite a sail, but it kind of looks like one. And the tail as well. It's really cool seeing these little white spikes. It's a really interesting style there. And the overall pose and proportions kind of remind me of like, I could, I could see this being like a creature out in the wild in a video game. Something on the land, lurking around the rivers and waters, very crocodilian like and ready just to lunge out at un unsuspecting adventurers. It's really cool, I like it a lot. Next up we have Jojo Wolf 04, with a very Komodo looking Komodo orca here. Of course, got the trademark markings around the belly, the serpentine tail, and a bit of a hybrid design for the head. Also little spiky bits around the arms there, nicely done, nicely done. And here we have another angle of Jojo's Komodo Orca, really showing off the features a lot better this time around, such as these spikies on the head, a bit of better definition on the tail there, kind of going out into the distance. All the muscle definition this one suggests it'll be one head of a land crawler that seems like it'd be really powerful, really scary to see on land, as well as of course on water. Next we have the Spam Hash with this very chill looking interpretation here. I love how it's just kind of like hovering in the large water. It just looks so relaxed, so happy, so chill. I also really like the proportions. The mouth or the neck more like just seems really large. And it kind of works actually because both the Orca and the Komodo can, you know, swallow up a very large thing. So it kind of makes sense. It would have like a bit of a pelican kind of neck going on. And the larger rounder feature also adds to, you know, a much more happier looking creature overall. This is one I could see giving really good hugs. And the next one would give a really big bear hug. This one is by Zeppelin King with those big fearsome claws. I absolutely love that. I really like how Zeppelin has added this into like a bit of an environment with sharks and the sailfish. It's really cool how they've incorporated it into the ecosystem. Again, just gives it more life, gives like a bit of an idea for the perspective, the size, the diet as well. And again, I gotta say again, I love the detail that's gone into the hands and feet. That is really nicely done. Next up is Vinesh for the spore creation. I really like the colour scheme on this one. So far we've been seeing just a lot of black and white and the occasional grey and white. I like how Vinesh here is but with three colour schemes instead. So they've got the black upper body, the grey midsection and legs and arms, and the white underbelly the marking around the eye. This one really feels like a good hybrid between the two. Since what I've been noticing and what I am also very guilty of is that a lot of the black and white colour schemes have felt a bit orca dominated. This one here is a very elegant solution to adding like a bit more Komodo back into the colour scheme, especially the texture choice there. I also really quite like the heads. That is a headpiece I very, very rarely use because I find it very difficult to, you know, actually customise and colour in. So Vanish made, I can appreciate we've done there and made very, very well done. I said from experience that that head is a nightmare to work with, well done. Next up is Rosie. And speaking of colour schemes, Rosie's also tried something very different here. This one's got like a very large dominant white stripe and you know what, it adds a lot to it. Also the construction of the face, I can appreciate that probably took a long time and I'd say it's very well done. 
I also like the simplicity of the tail, the big tail fin at the back there. That is something I should really try myself. <laughs> Next up by Atix is our very first mega build submission. I was very surprised to see this one. I love the way it's kind of perched up on that rock there. It really gives it like a big grandiose kind of look. Made the individual scales really, really well done. I love the work on the face and the design on the back fin. Oh, this thing just looks really big and scary and just like the usage of scales across the entire body just gives like a very armored appearance and i think this is fantastically well done like made really cool seeing a mega ball i was really excited to see that next up we have joel randall their dossier looking illustration it's got the size and the silhouettes in the bottom left hand corner there and for the design itself i really like the big canine teeth <laughs> that's that's always been like a bit of a cheeky thing for me as well i love adding saber teeth to my drawings <laughs> I try not to do it so much anymore, but I just have such a soft spot for like big canines. I love it. I also like the addition of the large appendage on the front arm set. And the overall proportions really sell Komodo while the whole thing looks very awkward. So it's again like another really nice in-betweener. And the design of the tail is very nice as well. Right then guys, it's actually going to have to cut it for now then. We've gone halfway through this. We've got another bunch to go. So excited to go through all of these, but I want to give everyone, you know, like a bit of time on the camera each. So I don't want to go rushing them too quickly. So we're going to cut it up here. Made so many awesome artworks. I really, really love all these so much. And I'm very curious about the ones that you guys may appreciate as well. Like for any of your favorites or any that you just want to mention, you know, like point out a bit of detail to post a timestamp down below. I have an idea for the next prompt. I will not be announcing it just yet. We'll wait on until the next video to announce that one. That way we can still give focus to this theme and the artists who have participated. Again, everyone, thank you all so, so much. Absolutely loving it. And looking at all these just makes me really excited. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't miss the next video. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.